I sat here since 5 a.m. addictively after having waking, woken up at 2 a.m. Uh, addictively just grinding this game to try and get a ballista only win. And I think, I think this is the run. We have gathered the knowledge required to get the run that we need. Um, and now it's just a matter of can we apply that knowledge? I feel like we've learned so much and we're on the cusp of greatness. So we know for a fact that it's dangerous to overinvest in this a little bit too early. So we'll just kind of like conservatively invest. Make sure we're getting a decent amount of gold from this. But like it's not super important to invest hardcore into this early. I mean, eventually we want crit. It's bad for the early game, but it scales really nicely. I mean, get it out of the way kind of a thing. Could also get the university early. I mean, university is a guaranteed pick later on in the game. It just doesn't do anything for us right now. Um, let's expand. Make sure you're targeting most health and I'll give you three levels. Get rid of those leaders. Plus one range. Pretty good. Extra coverage. Make sure you're targeting most health. One, two, three. Three levels. Make sure you're killing those generals, ideally. In one hit, you probably need like another level, actually, to make sure you're one hitting those guys. Plus one range again. Frost bolts. Plus one range feels really good. Universities gain plus three percent bonus. Ah, picking universities early has a downside. It it oh it we're learning. It clogs up your your hand when you're drawing. Okay, more range is good. We don't need slow right now. Slow is kind of long-term mandatory. But plus one range is like so efficient early game. It means we, we can play so greedy, like so impossibly greedy with plus one range. Um, like this, maximize returns of things that don't even super matter. Nah, you probably need like another level. Let's go level seven. 5% slow plus one damage to armor. This does lead to the burn damage. So I'll take the armor because getting those status effects early just secures your late game. If you could just pick them up nice and early. Um, they have very, very, very quick turnaround in, in value. So early university is definitely not the play. I feel like you want to pick up university around turn between turn like 18 and 25 is totally fine to be honest with you. But this early, it's a mistake. It's getting frost bolts long term. We are just going to want it. There's another house that we can play greedy around. Hello. Of course, I'm going to place ballistas around a house because the amount of gold that you generate from them over the long period of time is incredible. Haven't hit banditry yet. And I feel like you need like a banditry every five levels to really stay competitive because otherwise you're just you're going to struggle. 5% crit isn't terrible plus one damage to shields does lead, does leave the lead the poison poison awareness these towers are just kind of firing randomly into the crowd i don't care exactly what they hit that's not their job although the nice thing is with the extra range the wrap around now i'm getting value out of my my actual keep towers um and they're going to generate value actually for the whole game and potentially even even longer when i get even more range on them so quite good amazing right now it would have been perfect if it had wrapped around perfectly around the tower but like you know Getting a, a full straight line where you get a few shots off, that's you know, that's more than you can honestly ask for in most games. Mana bank is necessary. Is there anything else that's necessary? Yeah, mana bank. Mana bank is mandatory if I'm going to go for mana bolts this game. Another house, another day, another dollar, as they say. Hoping that the slow works it out for me. I'll give you like a little bit more money. Come on. Place this ballista. So it's nice. I think I think the walking past this area kind of thins out the herd and leaves just like the high health stuff behind, which, you know, should be dealt with the most health targeting units. Would love bleed. Would love bleed damage right now. <clears throat> it would make a difference. I really do feel like it. Any status effect, actually. But bleed would be perfect. Uh, an additional 10% slow plus three mana generation per second. I think I'll take the 10% slow um, or five extra 5% slow, which should be 10% in total. Expand. And now this is where the, the, the house money is starting to, to, to kick in. Let's go ahead and target most armor. We'll give you a few levels so you can thin out that armor. And on top of that, he's also slowing the high health units down a little bit. Not perfectly, not amazingly, but it, it's having an effect. It's distributing the enemy's health across a wider range of the map. Really, really, really nice here. Yeah, again, this is the, the big problem with um, slow on the towers is it causes bunching if you're targeting progress. If you're targeting at the top of the line, you, you slow down one guy, the next guy steps up, which kind of causes enemies, like it's like anti-AOE, 
it like gives enemies a chance to like hide behind each other which is a problem enemies drop plus two gold on death but also deal plus one damage to the tower absolutely necessary for me to pick this up band here ballista most armor there's a few quick levels on you i guess we'll just max out how many levels we can fit into you so it looks like actually targeting and the amount of time inside a tower's radius is what actually matters here interesting so it doesn't seem like actually doing damage matters for a tower's level up. It really depends on what the tower what the tower is targeting and for how long. Which means slow towers might actually help you level things up longer because a unit spends more time in range of the tower. Although, you know, you never know. It's hard to tell exactly how that works. But I think, I think I'm learning a little bit more of the mechanics as I spend more time observing the game and figuring things out. Ah, uh, 25% poison damage or burn damage. Burn damage is really... Well, poison damage secures the late game, but burn damage secures the now and stuff now can be better than stuff later all right let's go ahead and grab more armor damage just slap as many levels into this as i can i think just get really big really strong towers early to thin the herd and then they'll walk into like my cheaper weaker towers so you know we don't have a really solid choke point just yet but a distributed long line of towers like this you know we'll be able to fill out like a few towers in all of these locations you could probably make an argument for like there being another ballista here, but especially walking past this nice little pair of choke points here, but not even choke points. They just passed by my tower, which means I'm like, getting free damage. Like th this is honestly a best case scenario where you're getting free damage out of these towers that are here literally to only generate you gold long term. Net gold gifted. Perfect. Uh, plus 25% burn. So even better burn or plus one damage to health. This will give me access to the bleed card. So I take the plus one damage to health, so I have a chance to draw the bleed, because drawing the bleed will be really important for killing vampires later. Let's go ahead and make sure we're targeting most armor and just like feed as much gold into this as possible. So we're targeting the high armor units, slowly chipping them away, which is honestly working out really nice for me, because I've kind of distributed the enemies along the path in a really, really, really favorable way to me now with this slow. And then they come into like this battery of anti-health towers here. Perfect. And so I think this house will be like the delineation like anything from this house beyond like to the start of my zone is like anti-health between like this house and i guess this choke point is like anti-armor and then beyond that will be the shield towers so i think that's like how we're going to do it and that feels kind of like intuitive and natural to me to do it that way i mean it's really hard to like pass up these upgrades plus two damage to health and shields it's like plus two levels for your your, your towers it's so good it's so, 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 so good. It's really hard to pass up. However, we are kind of going for quality over quantity right now. So maybe that's an okay choice. Let's go ahead and move here. Uh, another house. Um, I think I have to do this, though, where we just go, like, for max armor, anti-armor damage. This probably should have been a shield tower, but it's kind of in the place where the armor towers go. So it works for me. I'm liking how this is working. We're able to distribute and deal with a lot of this damage piece by piece. And that's the important thing is we want, like, the damage to be distributed like we want the enemy to be drawn out as long and wide as possible across our, our our network of towers so that the maximum number of towers are firing at any one time which means it essentially maximizes our dps so we really we really, really want to avoid bunching the enemy by targeting progress we want to target individual health bars like with certainty um now some amount of bunching is going to become inevitable in the late game when we have enough towers in this area but i think for now things are okay i will see here 5% crit chance across all towers or plus two damage to armor. I think we take the plus two damage to armor. That seems pretty intuitive to me. I think I'm going to wait till after Oogie. Well, you know what? This is a, this is another, this is 42 gold, okay? This should pay off very, very quickly. I think it's looking okay so far. Now, one of the interesting things about ballistas is if they miss, they can sometimes like their bolt can follow through and hit an enemy that was like behind the enemy you were aiming at. Something to consider when you're like positioning your bolts. You're bolty. The gold income feels strong. I would love to see like a, a thing that was saying, here's how much housing gold you're making compared to however much. But like it ends up being about 20% of your gold. This does feel worth it. It feels worth it to me to do this. Uh, Heavy shaft, anti-armor. I'm going to take, yeah, heavy shaft. Just having really good anti-armor passive damage seems okay to me. Uh, we're going to have to deal with Uji. Um, so let's, so I think I said, Anti-health is going to come here, so you'll go for most health. So right now we're thinning the herd uh, for Ugi. Ugi will get pretty deep, I feel like. He's going to get very deep this round, um, which is kind of a scary prospect because I don't really have good tools for it. Oh, but the slow... The slow nailed him. 
um, which is actually great. Let's go ahead and get this guy ready to target Uji as well. If he makes it around the corner. I don't know if he's going to make it that far, but if he does, we're ready for him. We're ready to take him out. He's not going to... Yeah, look at that. Look how slow he is. He's burning. We don't have advanced to burn, but that's okay. He's not even up against the really hard hitter here, which does 400 damage a hit, which should start to chunk him pretty significantly. Now, he's only taken half of the normal burn damage per second, but that's fine. Yeah, when this, when this tower fires, it slaps, dude. Now, 20 RPM means these towers fire every three seconds. That's actually pretty low DPS, realistically. I kind of wish there was like a plus one fire rate for your, for your ballista towers. I don't know. It'd be kind of nice. Um, plus one range on ballistas. Very, very powerful thing. Now we've got maxed out range on ballistas, which means they are doing their maximum amount of total DPS. 10% crit chance. Yoink. I will take 10% crit on my ballistas. Uh, so now we have to start thinking about shields. Most shield. We have towers targeting most shield already. That's good. We're going to struggle to deal with shields. The lack of poison damage is a problem for us. We, we, we lack a lot of things. Our towers are very underdeveloped compared to last round, but generally we're looking okay. One of the big advantages we have here is the slowing effect uh, and the fact that these guys aren't regenerating, so we're just getting more total time to like DPS them. I would, I would be lying if I said I wasn't like a little bit concerned right now, but they are coming now into the towers that do lots of health damage <clears throat> and their health is relatively low, so they should start taking health damage like pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? Like it should, it should, it should be a problem soon. Now here's a question. What if you target least shield? Who do you hit? So it looks like, out of all of his choices, if he's targeting least shields, he's aiming at something that doesn't have shield. So maybe we can make our ballista targeting a little bit smarter using this information. Maybe we can start to mix and match towers rather than having like anti-shield sections. We can be like, target whatever has the most health and the least armor and shields. So now we can start to like specify your anti-armor, your anti-health. So maybe we can start to do that. <sighs> Monster studies, all towers, plus one damage to armor. Really doesn't excite me. I can't afford to take bleed them dry. Mines also pollute your, your hand. Um, God, this is just really terrible. I'm going to take monster studies. God, what a terrible, terrible event. So like if I, if I make a tower here that like, oh, no target, uh, most shield, or uh, most armor, least shield. Maybe that'll like avoid shooting shielded stuff. Oh, excellent. Actually, if this road continues to go up this way, I'll get even more efficiency out of my towers over here, which would be incredible. Every ounce of efficiency I can eke out of my towers is huge. Nice. They're not getting too deep into my maze just yet. It's really the shield guys who are kind of like the thing that I have to, you know, you know, watch out for. But I think if you target most armor and least shields, it seems like they'll they'll try to just avoid targeting shields. And if they are targeting something with shields, they're going to target whatever is low on shields. So we get to finish things for faster. Um, so we probably have like slightly better targeting now, like logic in terms of like understanding the game, figuring out how to target. I feel like this is a dead run, though. We just haven't gotten the look. I mean, it can still always come back, right? Any run is still alive as long as they're not knocking on your door. We have universities so we can scale into the um the demon round the problem is we just don't have a lot of the tools that we need in place there's the burn oh no it's not burn that i needed oh man mana bolts <sighs> blisters now consume a small amount of mana i think mana bolts one actually helps a lot here in terms of just raw dps up upgrading target most shields and give you about level 10. I'm just, I'm just i'm just kind of clicking up and getting lots of high quality towers because i do have the quality over quantity um crit bonus we're looking okay. The enemies are distributing nicely throughout the maze, so a lot of things are firing. Mana bolt wise, I think I will need another bank. I might need like another two banks. We're sustaining right now, so I think we're fine. Yeah, this is exactly what we like to see. Like there's just a lot of spread across my entire um my entire maze. This is absolutely not what we like to see though. A whole bunch of mobs like really slow with lots of shield. Um just not dying quickly. We probably just need more anti-shield towers. Um, although, maybe I don't need to specialize towards anti-shield this early. I can kind of sit in my gold. I mean, this is just an easy run. We're just like an easy, relaxed run. We're fine. We've cleared out the enemy. 
25% poison damage. Thank you. Hello. Late game secure. Let's continue to head this way. You know what? This is actually just the perfect place for an anti-shield tower. I'll take it to about level 10. I'm, I, I'm going to level 11 as a standard now. It's just like I... It just it makes the later game simpler, I think, if you go to level 10 with your towers. Um, even so, like a highly leveled tower like this is still not doing amazing. Maybe I should be going even higher levels. Like, what if I went just like, ma what if I just started maxing out a tower? Like, boom, boom, boom. Like, what would happen if I just started maxing out a bunch of towers? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What if I had, like, I gave a tower a level for every round? Is that, like, an insane thing to do? I don't know. I don't know where the diminish, I don't know where, like, the, the demand curve, diminishing return, DPS, whatever. I, I, I have a very fairly simple heuristic, which is, like, you take roughly the factorial of the tower's health or cost divided by 10 um, and that's about the level so like if you your tower costs about a thousand gold you probably want to give it about like 10 to 15 levels because 100 factorial is like you know you take 100 it's one times two times three times four times five times six times seven you know what I mean like or plus 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 maybe that's a bad heuristic I don't know banditry two completely necessary although I really need that bleed damage Shh. God, you're such a tease that you would do this to me. I need to take, I need, I need to have the bleed secured. I need to be able to stop vampires. Yeah, I, I, I have no choice. I have to be able to stop vampires. I'm going to focus now on getting the maximum efficiency out of every choke point here. Like I'm going to start like this tower and then back fill. So I want you targeted uh, most health, I guess. Most health, least shield and least armor. There you go. There's your level 11. Um, and then I'll fill you in here. You're going to be targeted at most shield. And there's your shield damage. Let's continue to expand. And my hope is that by focusing tower production, like in this whole track here, maybe, maybe I'll end up in a place that's like actually interesting in terms of like ballista only gameplay. <clears throat> Which is kind of an oxymoron if you really think about it. Like, how can Ballista only be interesting when you're literally building the most boring tower in the entire game? It points and it shoots and it does nothing special. But honestly, I find this like a really engaging cha challenge. There's a lot of like strategery to figuring it out. Let's go most shield fastest and have just like a, an extra damaging shield tower back here. Just, to, you know, just to clean up, clean up any of these boys that snuck in with a bit of shield on them. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I think this, I think the slow, having done a run without slow bolts, I think is an S. Oh, level two banditry. Uh, finally, there is a reprieve in my bad luck. Um, this is incredible over here, by the way. This tower layout, this is going to be like towers here just have so much value now. Um, and I had fully planned to tower up over there. And it's the same over here. Like this tower right here is just like it's so much extra value. Uh, I guess I'll make it an anti-shield tower as well. Uh, let's go for an anti-armor tower. Most armor. Most armor, least shield. Clicked up to level 11. That way it, it, that way it tries to avoid anything that has... Um, it still has shields on top of its armor. So it's trying to target something that has just armor health to be efficient. I don't know if this is the right way to do things. We're Again, we're kind of like figuring things out as we go. 5% crit chance across all towers. It's a 5% DPS increase. Now, though, we also want to think about, like, university research. We want to think about bleed. Bleed is really good, but the one that I really want is upgraded poison. I'm going to take a bleed upgrade, and we'll see how that works out for me. This is just fantastic, what's going on over here. This 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 routing. Um, now, I think I need to start building out some routing over here. My my I, I was keep expanding this in the hope that more routes will open up over here so more units walk through this incredibly efficient line for me but that just will not manifest for me and i'm scared to click expand over here i, I wonder if the map is like pre-generated and i'm being trolled right now because this is a very long path to get no splitting like no splitting at all really like no splitting um let's target most health least shield least armor and then we'll just click you up to that level um, how are we doing here? You're just going to target progress. And you know what? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, just target progress. Just occasionally have towers kind of ta targeting randomly. You want to spread your damage out? You want to increase the amount of slows you're doing? I would 100% guarantee you the first time I click on either of these two, the, the, road, the path will split. Research, crit, mana bolts too. Very good, but scary. 
Ballista's deal more bleed. I think we have to take banditry for the extra gold. Why won't this path split over here? I'm I'm being trolled by the game right now. I'm actually being trolled. Like this path won't split. I want it to split so that more units will walk down this because it distributes them based on the number of entrances. I'm actually being trolled. It's incredible what's happening right now. It's being it's happening live on youtube.com forward slash potato big whiskey and it's really triggering. Let's target most armor and bring it up to level 11 again. I'm just like, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm getting lazy now. I'm like trying to optimize less and I'm like, okay, how do I get over the line? Like, what is the, like, what are the efficient choices that I'm making? Like, where's the break even point? And about 10% feels kind of about right to me. Plus 10 base damage across the board, um, specific targeting, all that jazz. And like, once things are getting to like this corner without any shields or uh, armor, then I'm starting to feel pretty good about my build. My hope is to deal with all of that over here. I think, I think, and I think part of that is just adding more towers here. Uh, I guess you'll target near death and you'll do health damage. So what do you got? Maximum bleed. Max poison is good. Now, the danger with that is the poison will fall off before it's relevant, but this opens up some potential really, really good cards later on. Please split. It's, ac I'm genuinely being trolled. I swear to God, how is this not split yet? Like, seriously. I'm being trolled. There's no way it's not a coincidence. The game is trolling me. It, it, it's impossible for this to just be natural. Looking good, looking good. I feel like we're holding this really well. Now, there's a little bit of push through, which probably means I need to develop this corner a little bit more. Maybe target, eh, do a little bit of like near death targeting, give you a bunch of health damage. Maybe have you, this guy, target the fastest i guess i have a bunch of extra health damage nobody's getting through with armor and stuff like that that's the real concern that we want to avoid most armor least shield perfect poisoned enemies take an extra plus one shield damage from all attacks that's exactly what we were looking for please split i'm being trolled it's like at this point if you don't believe that like the developers in my game specifically to mess with me when you see this, I don't know what to tell you. I like I have infinite bridges to sell you. Also, uh, mana has become an issue, um, just as an aside. So let's pop down like eh, three or four more of these. We do have more bolts out in the map. So it's a thing. Zombie Uji Ugi is out, which means it's university time, which means we need to start thinking about upgrading our universities. Because um, universities don't do anything unless they're next to, a, to an unholy site. Um, I guess you will target progress. Things are looking really good, actually. This might be my strongest run yet in terms of like potential. Like this has the chance to go the distance, I feel. Um, now, it could all start falling apart depending on the picks that I make and the look that I get. But I'm feeling good about it. And I know I've said that basically every single time. <laughs> I know I've basically said that every single time I play this. I was like, this is the run, guys, Copium. Um, but, you know, this one might actually be uh, the one. Crit steal 10% of the target's current poison as extra poison. God, that seems good. Uh, all, ta all Ballista Towers deal 25% more poison damage. God, all of these are actually, these are actually all really, really good choices. I'm going to do Expunge because I'm already on a crit build. Oh man, I'm being forced to take a bad one. Lifesteal. Enemies also gain 0.1 movement speed. Oof. Wait, I can't be, wait, you're not allowed to, wait, I, I've never been forced to take a tower before. I'll take the Particle Cannon. I'm kind of disappointed though. This almost feels like it killed my run. Maximum poison. Um, that feels like a run kill. Because um, I have taken a particle cannon when I, when I absolutely did not want to. Watch, the first time I click here, it splits. Okay, no, I'm wrong. But I, I could have been right and you wouldn't have known the difference. That's the thing. I could have been right. <sighs> Enemy speed is bad. I mean, I guess I'm slowing, so it's not the end of the world. Um, we didn't hit a university yet. Let's do uh, least shield, least armor and most health let's have you targeting good stuff there is some stuff getting through with armor uh, probably a good spot right here for an anti-armor cannon a pair of anti-armor cannons in fact well i don't have the money for that just yet we shall see increase max bleed burn and poison by 40 per second i mean i guess this is okay um I don't really have good choices. I could go for mana bolts. Mana bolts is just a trap. It gets you killed. It gets you, you can't go mana bolts. It gets you killed. 
It gets every time. Every time I go mana bolts, it gets me killed. I have to be careful. I haven't hit a university tile yet, which is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and make sure you're anti armor. So I'm wondering how, like, what's our status? Are we doing okay? Like, it's it's hard to gauge at this point. Uh, maybe we need more towers in this area. Uh, most health, least shield, least armor. I definitely feel like we need more units or more like towers shooting here. So I think we're going to go go ahead and do that. And I think one of our big problems is just actually the sheer. The problem is that we're our, our status effects are bleeding too quickly now. So this is this is a trap you can get yourself into is where your status effects bleed too quickly to where they're not actually like preventing the healing and stuff, which is like their main objective. It's nice for DPS, but it's not so great if the enemy is like just ignoring your status effect and then regenerating through it. Um, so to that end, 25% extra bleed damage actually represents like a significant buffer in terms of like, oh, how much bleed? University, boom, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, so we're going to start rolling those D20s. So I, th I think we're going to be okay for a while. I mean, people aren't healing, are they? There's a little bit of healing going on, but like the vampires over here. I think if we can get enough ballista towers sort of firing off, I think we're going to be okay. The healing is bad. Yeah, like this over here. This guy's just like his health bar is filling back up. But I think the extra bleed damage has helped quite a bit. It's making a difference. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Should be a slam dunk win for me. Um, we've got 2,000 gold in the bank. Plus two damage to shields. I guess plus two damage to shields is what we'll take there. It's not a bad one. It's not what I'm looking for. Let's open there. God damn it. I got completely troll. Like, this still hasn't split. Like, unbelievable. Unbelievable look at this point, as far as I'm concerned. Right, let's start to cram this pathway. You will be progress targeted, I guess. Uh, this guy will be most shield targeted just in case someone makes it through you will be near death targeted ideally uh you will be near death targeted ideally to try and finish people off and the hope is that maybe just like a barrage of bolts into this crowd is is the way that we 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 get through this it's just like by constantly just having a big slow and everyone shooting maybe just like the sheer number of bolts happening here might be enough to make it happen for us i don't know you never really know like i feel like this game is a little bit too fuzzy because of the rng of like the cards that you're picking up that it can be hard to know if you're actually doing well and i think that's part of what makes it so engaging i actually i feel like this near death targeting thing is working out really well for me so i'm gonna kind of like it seems to be working so we'll do like a little bit of near death a little bit of most armor and plus three percent research to all universities. That's huge. Ooh, poisoning enemies also slows them five five percent of the slow poison gained. This is actually quite good. I know we already have slow, but being able to increase the total amount of slow on the map is a big deal. Uh, let's do university, and then click, 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 because now our towers are doing like baseline. 10% slow plus now the poison slow on top of it um, so the total amount of slow that we're outputting has just gone up which should in theory give us some hope we have plus one shield damage already from a thing listen anyone who tells you rolling a dice isn't worth it is just wrong like if, if rolling the dice on these universities has just so much potential scaling because like if you think of it if I had to go through and click level up on every single one of my towers how many thousands of gold would that cost me versus placing down a university and like clicking a few times and getting a chance at that very same upgrade like it just the university just seems to represent so much incredible late game value that if you invest in it correctly it will absolutely pay dividends and, and actually, I really do feel like this poison slow thing has worked out because like enemies have gotten nowhere as far as they have in some of the like the rounds that came up before this. So I'm really feeling confident that this is the run. I again, <laughs> copium, this is the run. I've said that many times, but this one, this time it's true. I promise. OK, this is the run. Poisoned enemies also take a plus one shield damage from all attacks. That's actually really, really good. I, I feel like plus two damage to health scales really nicely across all my towers it's like getting two university upgrades um let's continue to expand so in terms of like battery thinking i think focusing 
a little bit more around here. And I want to be using up all these tall spots, especially. And like, I know I'm doing a lot of this, but like near death just feels like an incredibly good targeting option. It's like, why wouldn't you just target the thing that's almost dead? Like, sure enough, target some things that have most health with some of your towers. But surely if something is like close to death, you just want to get rid of it. So looking at the health bars that are getting through here, most of the shields and armor is being stripped before they get here, which is exactly how we want it to be. We want to be dealing with health from like here onwards. Man, this is just feeling good. Like one single shot is basically max slowing people. It's feeling good. Like, look at this. These guys, these aren't even like specialized anti-shield towers and they're just wrecking these guys because of the total amount of statistic effects and like the slowing and stuff. Attacks against bleeding enemies have a 5% crit chance. Thrust three damage against shields. I think I'm going to take the crit here. Extra crit chance. Um, feels like it could pay off. I mean, it just feels like there's a good tower here. Let's target the least health, least shield, least armor. So you just, you just try and get a few kills on the way. Or maybe I should target him to most. So he can continue shooting the same target over and over and over again. I don't know. This is just a good spot for a tower, so that's where I'm going to put it. But I guess at, at this targeting level, he will just target whatever the weakest thing is continuously until it dies. So it kind of works for what I want. All right. A um, little bit too much making it through here. Let's go ahead and do some more targeted harassment, as they say. No one says that, but I did. Very good. Loving it. Absolutely loving it tower there slap it up most shield who needs an anti-shield tower i don't but i'm putting one there anyway can i have some universities like some good occultist good occult shrines would be nice i feel um mana bolts too man that's so good bleeding enemies take an extra one health damage from all attacks feels right to me aha uh -huh, an occult shrine boom 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 Again, you know, we're rolling that, that dice. And it's a very low percentage chance that it pays off. But when we're rolling a dice so many times, like we have another 12 rounds, we get to roll that dice so many times and it upgrades so many towers. It's absolutely worth it. In fact, I think it would be worth it to go through and like increase that percentage by another 1% because the expected value return is huge. If they hit, if they don't hit, which is entirely possible that none of them could hit, it would be bad, which is why we're kind of looking for university upgrades right now. If we could get the university percentages higher, um... That's big. It's really, really big. Um, in fact, to the point where maybe I will, rather than invest in new towers, I actually think it's more efficient to invest in university stuff right now. The earlier you invest, the better the payoff. It's like compounding interest. You know what I mean? The the, the better you, the better, the, the earlier you roll that dice, the better. I mean, we've, we've already hit, like we, we've already been incredibly lucky, right? Plus one HD, plus one SD, health damage, shield damage. There's probably an argument to be made for more towers. Um, we still have room for more towers, but, but honestly, we're not we're not struggling to hold is the thing. So as long as we're not struggling to hold, investing in universities is fine. But the problem is that this is like a very black and white type of situation is that you can like. I feel like if you're in the Ballista only challenge, you're either holding or you're not. There is no like, oh, we almost held. It's like you held perfectly and then, oh, God, you're dead. Um, those are like the only two things I've hit. 5% crit chances is like a 5% damage increase. It's worth it, I think. Another spot for universities. Boom, boom, boom. Click, 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 click. Yes, I understand that this is like a very low percentage chance of payoff, but it is a, a possible payoff. That is the thing. It can pay off. Um, and if it does, it's huge. So I think we have a robot to deal with soon here. We need to consider that as part of our plans. A lot of bunching here, which has me slightly concerned. But our damage is kind of absurd. Like we're hitting for like 1200s on some of these crits, which is kind of nutty. Enemies, like the fort even fortification isn't really stopping me. You see the gray bar above the enemy's health bars? That's when they fortify. It means they take five less base damage, which is like down every time they get hit by a tower. It's like the tower is five levels lower, essentially. Um, a little bit of armor getting through now. Not on my watch. Let's go ahead and make sure we have a, a tower targeted for armor. Um, let's add two more towers targeting armor. Oh, that was our health. Well, you know what? Maybe this one is uh, targeting some weird stuff. In terms of mana, I think uh, maybe a couple more mana banks. Seems okay to me. I'll, you know what? I'm also going to pop a ballista here. No, you know what? I'm not going to. I don't have the money. I need to make sure my universities are maxed out correctly. 
2% on each. We've got 2% in each on this one, 2% each on this one. Maximum bleed. Do crits deal 10% of the current bleed as extra bleed damage. Quite good. Uh, means we get to stack bleed over and over and over and over and over again. There is Robo Oogie. He'll be around for a while. Um, he did spawn in the perfect path for me. Like the longest path. Okay, thanks, buddy. Basically zero threat from Robo Oogie. Uh, and we did hit some more upgrades on our universities, which again is, you know, a low percentage chance, but entirely possible and worth it. Let's make sure you guys go up a level. 3% feels about good for me. To go to 5% on each is a lot, is a lot, is a big ask. My logic, by the way, instead of like going, oh, you know, I'll put, instead of like doing, you know, 9% health in one, I go three of each in one. And that basically because it's going to roll the dice. I, I would rather roll three dice with a 3% chance of success than roll one dice with a 9% chance of success. And that's just because of the law of the large numbers. The more opportunities you have to roll a good dice, like to get a good outcome or, or whatever, like eventually that outcome is going to like appeal to the mean or whatever. Listen, there's a way to explain it, but basically like, you know, it's a risk, basically, is what I'm taking. Over the short term, if I hit those 3%, I'm winning. But in the long term, it actually doesn't really matter, is, is, the, is the point I'm making. Is that if I hit those 3% short term, I'm in the big money. But over a long period of time, it's essentially a wash. It's, it's provided the numbers are like sufficiently actually random. Um, and so by doing it this way, because there's only 10 rounds left, I get 10 chances, like 10 times 3 chances... 10 times 3% chances, depending on how many, you know, universities I have, uh, rather than uh, 10 times 1, 9% chances. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes... It look, okay, there is the scholarship, plus 3% to every research. That basically doubles our investment at no cost. Boom. I'm expecting now, statistically, we should start hitting pretty regularly. Like, with 9... With 12 universities, all at 6%, there's a way to do the probability of that. We have treasure. 25% extra burn damage. Hello. I'm going to go learn how to do that probability, actually. Like, I'm pretty sure if I've done the math right, if I have a 3% chance of hitting a dice, okay? If I have a 3% chance out of 100 and I get to do that three times, I think you take 0.97 and you multiply it by not three but by 0 0.97 three twice so like it would be 0 0.97 to the power of three which means i have a nine each one of these things right individually has a a nine percent chance of like hitting which about lines up right now if we add in that extra six percent or even if we consider before we took the 6%, right? And we, we had 3% a, a across the board. Um, so that, that actually lines up, roughly speaking, um, with like the intuitive answer. You've got like, like, you know, there's a, a very small chance that all, the, like that's the problem. It's like a 91% chance that all of them miss. Okay, so there's like a 9% chance that at least one hits is how you could think about it. So like, you know, you're still pay, you're still getting that nine percent outcome. It's a spread across multiple outcomes. Um, but the interesting thing is, as that number gets bigger, I'm pretty sure, if, like, if we take this, like, oh, we've got twelve things. Each of them are hitting three times at three percent. So it's like zero point nine seven to the power of three. Boom, right? Which gives us our ninety one, and then you take that probability to the power of twelve. And now it's like there's only a 33% chance that we get no upgrades. It's like a, that we get zero, like zero upgrades. I'm pretty sure that's how the probability, like it's been a long time since I've done statistics. Now, if we go the next route, I forgot to show you the calculator actually. Now, if we go right now, we're at 6%. So it's like 0 0.94, all right, to the power of, I don't know, 3 because you get three rolls per per university, and then there's twelve universities. 
there's like a 10% chance we don't get an upgrade now. So like, I feel like spreading out is like the objectively correct, you know, meme to do. I don't know. It just, it feels right to me. Like there's, there's a very small chance that none of these increment every turn. Like they should on average, like we should be hitting some of them. It becomes statistically unlikely that none of them hit um, is the thing. I like this guy over here. He's like eating up all the weak guys. And that actually might be a really clever thing to do is have like more guys targeting least health, least armor, least shield, and just have them like moderately upgraded. And maybe that just reduces the total number of shots that need to happen later on in the map. I don't know. I'm like, I'm, tr I'm trying anything at this point because I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm scared. Um, although this is looking really good. The fact that we have poison preventing these guys from regenerating. The fact that you basically need poison to beat the, the third round is kind of annoying, in my opinion. The third, like, go around. Let's start adding some shield damage to this late game stuff. So we're going to go near death. Most shields. Most shields near death and i think we're doing relatively okay let's add some more shield towers anti-shield towers rather we're going up to level 15 now on these towers which i think is a reasonable level to go to uh plus two percent bonus to research remember this has a huge payout now it's almost guaranteed that we're going to get a level and imagine that's a level like every time these research things hit that's a level across every single tower that we've already paid for 25 percent poison damage though fuck this is too good i think the 2% research chance is like way too good. It's way, it's way, too, it's way too good, right? Like if you think about the probability now, we're at 8%, 8%, 8% probability. We take that eight, we multiply it. Or sorry, we take that like 0.92 to the power of three. Now there's a 78% chance that we don't get any upgrades from any individual. And it's down to a 5% chance that we get no upgrades. And so everything above that is just profit, right? Because it's applying to every tower. Like if I just click this, expand, boom. Every single one of them went up. This is 100% worth. You will never convince me otherwise that this isn't worth it. It will. You will never, ever, ever convince me. Like it's just, it just seems so intuitive, incredibly powerful. So I think shields are now like the thing that we have to deal with. So a lot of towers are going to be getting upgraded with like most shield targeting. As much as I really, really, really wanted that... Um, as much as I really wanted the, the 25% poison damage, because God, it would be good. Um, I had to go with the extra health, the, the, the percentage chance, man. Like, cause think about that scaling across this entire, like, area. It's too much. It's too much to, to neglect. I'm sorry. Now, I wonder how useful these two towers over here are being. And like, should I expand this? Is this the correct thing to do? Do I just continue to pack things in to this like area over here? Maybe I just continue to pack. Like, do I start to like Uber level these towers? Like, what do I do now? We're not doing enough poison damage, I think is our big problem. I'm seeing like plus 300s in here. So we need to get more poison in. Um, it's kind of working, but the problem is the poison is falling off. It'll continue to kind of work, I think, for a while. As long as we can get enough towers here. All ballistas, three damage to health. Crit steal an additional 10% of the carrot's current bleed is extra bleed damage. That would help a little bit. I think it's really just hoping that shield damage ticks up now and hoping that poison can overcome it. Just target the most shields. You continue to level. Um, so we're at 332. Boom. Now we're at 433. So university slowly but surely paying off their dividends because imagine again every time one of these numbers increments that's like i went through and i clicked plus one on most of these towers it's not exactly like perfectly one-to-one -one that um but that's kind of what it's like yeah see the problem is poison damage is falling off and then these guys are just regenerating so what i think we actually need is just like huge batteries of towers firing into the front target to like stack massive poison and do huge damage like once we get down to their health, we like a, a demolish. It's not even close. So I think I think we just need to go deep now. Uh, let's just throw a few levels on random towers. Yeah, I think investing in more ballistas is now getting harder and harder to justify. The sheer like sum total of our um. Oh, well, these guys are healing too. Damn, we need more bleed. Yeah, I think I need I need that twenty five percent poison increase. It's a big part of what's holding me back here. I think as long as we continue to add more towers, 
and continue to add like more levels to them. Plus three damage to shields. That's huge. Poisoned enemies take an extra three. One da I think plus three damage to shields is so much extra poison that it does actually significantly help here. We're up to four, three, four. The plus one shield damage helping a lot. Probably should have gone heavier on the shield damage research, to be honest with you. So I'm wondering, are you actually like picking up kills over here? You are. You're picking up the weaklings. You're thinning the herd, making my life easier. I think, though, just quantity of fire is kind of what's carrying me here, though. Quantity and quality of fire. The slow is really nice, actually. These towers getting to assist is huge. Like you see, as we're like battery firing on these guys, smaller units are appearing and then the poison gets to drop off and then they get to start to rebuild their shields. It's, I'm just not really sure how do I how do I deal with that with targeting and not just getting the 25% extra poison damage. I don't see a real All right, mana consumption. Is relatively okay. I'm gonna add like two more mana banks. Yeah, we'll add four more mana banks just to keep us nice and topped up. The important thing is, every time we get mana bolts, we basically need to double the amount of mana banks we have. So it's like a very, very dangerous thing to do, is to pick up mana bolts. 10% crit chance. Burn maximum is really, really good. But 10% crit chance, that's like a 10% DPS increase across my entire thing. As well as like the extra effects of crits. New discoveries, very nice. 654. I can almost one-shot these little baby ghosts. But that's nice, we're killing these like little weaklings. Which basically saves a shot later on on the track. But when you're like, when you have massed fire, does it matter? I don't think so. I really don't. Like a single one of my ballistas costs as much as a particle cannon now, which is kind of nuts if you think about it. But that's the, that's the stage of the game that we're at. We're at level 40. This is the furthest we've ever gotten. I think 38 was my previous best and now we're at 40. So even if we lose here, I'm actually totally fine with that. We've made huge progress. We've learned how to do Ballista only. We, I think I think we could do this again. Um, and I think we've learned how to mitigate luck. This is perfect. I think it may actually even be more efficient to continue to invest. There's only five more rolls on the university dice. So now I think investment into universities is kind of not very good. We've already done the university investing and, you know, the probability of return because we only get five more rolls. So mm, it feels like more towers now is the thing and upgrading existing towers. I think just more towers here, especially, helps like kill some of this before it ever really gets where you know, it can cause us harm. We only get so many more promotions, like card draw. So we got to pick our cards pretty carefully. Man, you really actually don't get that many. Like if you really think about how many cards you get to draw, you don't get to pick that many throughout the course of an entire run. Like we have fully, we haven't even fully maxed out our Ballista Towers. We're still missing some key upgrades, like the 25% poison. We haven't even picked up extra poison stuff. Um, with regards to like special effects from poison, we're just doing okay. Now, expunge seems pretty good. 10% more crit chance also seems pretty good. That would put us up into the small percentage chance of triple crits. We're critting often enough now to where this expunge might be worth it. 10% extra poison might not seem like much, but I think it's significant. Let's add more ballistas to our forward batteries. Um, Targeting near death, ideally. I just start to upgrade these choke points a little bit. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter what they're firing at. Like, realistically. Because our goal now is massed fire into, like, groups of enemies. Is our best bet to deal with them. Because they just bunch up so much now. We, we Like, individually targeting is kind of impossible. Level 41. University stacking nicely. Oh my god, I could have had another spot on this university. How did I fail this? Make sure we put that mostly into shields, because shields are going to be the thing that, like, bother us now. I would love more shield rolls. Actually, let's go through and just click once on every single one of these to bring us up to, like, an extra, like, a 9% shield roll. Because if we could secure a few extra shields, I think that would make the difference. No one's, like, getting through, right? No, we're fine. Ooh, a lot of health over there, actually. That's kind of spooky. I need to add more towers. Yeah, that's a problem. See, the bunching, I think it's a lack of DPS and also the bunching is a problem. It's like we can't efficiently target for poison efficiency. Also, these guys are just spawning, which is like a jerk move. Oh, 
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're dead. Damn it. Level 41, though. Level 41, though. 15% of our income came from these houses. Man, I feel like we have the run there. I'm not sure what I like. What do I do differently? I feel like this requires something do i just have should i have massed more towers here should i have invested more into universities it's hard to know but i'm feeling good about this i love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time